G'day peoples of YouTube. So today we're going to turf up this brand new 22FX. So installing this Jet Tech Traction Turf um, over the ski. Just a couple uh, disclaimers. There may be better ways of doing this, but in my years of turfing skis, this is what works best for me. The reason that we turf skis as well is predominantly for doing sports activities on them. So like, for instance, we fish and surf off our skis a lot. It just protects the rails. It gives you traction all over the ski and also protects your equipment. Uh, once the stuff is on too, it is a marine grade adhesive, it is very sticky and it's kind of designed to stay on and not come off, but yeah, let's dive into it. Alright, some stuff you're going to want to know before you get started. Uh, this ain't a five minute job, but to be honest it probably takes me maybe four or so hours to do a ski. Um, I'm going to be removing some of the plastic, so on the 22 model, I'm just going to run through this now so we can just dive straight right into it. Um, I'm going to remove this plastic trimming here to tuck the turf under. I'm going to be removing this panel here and marking it out so I can tuck the turf underneath that. I'm going to loosen these off, so just a couple bolts on the inside. You're going to want some fresh blades. Um, I'll go through two or three blades on doing a ski. The reason you want it nice and um, nice sharp blades is that you need your cuts to be perfect. Uh, you don't want to cut things twice. I will be removing some of the stickers and these badges and you want a long straight edge to cut your sheets in half and you'll see that what I mean there in just a second. Brake clean is what I prefer to like to use and a rag so I'll clean the surface you don't want any wax, salt and sand residue left on the surfaces so the adhesive backing has a good contact with the ski and doesn't start lifting off over time. I'm also teaching Connor here, the newest member of the Jet Tech team, how to turf ski today. So Connor's going to be firing off questions. Um, one question he just asked is, how many sheets do you need to turf a ski? You need two sheets to do a complete job. So we cut this down the middle and two sheets, you have four sections. So you do your outer rails and then your inside parts underneath the seat. I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is your sheets are approximately 0 0.7, so we want to cut this at 0.35. So that's 35 there. 35. These blades are great because they're small and you can get nice and tightly in the corners where a longer blade you've got all that leverage to work with. So get yourself a work table. I like to use the plastic trestle tables. Cut nice and straight. See kind of how I'm going like directly down. You don't want to be cutting like that or that because you see the angle in the turf cut. Always try to take your time with doing this and that's why I say it's not a five minute job. It's something that just does take a good portion of the day. See how I've cut from that way to this way? I usually wouldn't do that. You're better off cutting directly because see if you're if you're five mil out here yeah, it won't be a straight line it's kick it around yeah, that I've, I've pretty much nailed it this time but i've i have stuffed that up before there you go Beautiful. so two halves another thing to take note the type of turf we use is an angled groove um has got an angled grooves in it with a diamond cut we like this because it wraps around the ski a lot more and uh Skis on the on the footwells have so many contradicting angles. That's what makes it a tough job. Well, not a tough job, but a time-consuming job to do. Make sure you, it's for a nice professional looking job, make sure you get your direction all correct. So you're not putting one that way and the other one the other way. If that kind of makes sense. Removing these plastics because I tuck the turf underneath this so much better. For the sake of spending a few minutes taking this off. It actually saves time trying to cut around it and it looks way tidier. Alrighty-o. Next bit is pulling off this badge. I'm not too worried that I'm kind of, I could spend a lot more time and try not make any marks. But the thing is the turf's covering it. The turf's not coming off. And then I've used the blade um, to lift the edges out and then I'm just with my fingers I can get the rest of it off. Sweet. I'm going to go just over that so I'm actually going to peel the sticker off. Hmm, looks better already. Um, get your brake clean. 
microfiber. Clean the hell out of it all. Make sure you're cleaning right up to the groove here because of the, to where it meets the factory turf because we're going to be going pretty close to that. And cleaning the ski, I assume, makes it right. the adhesive stick a lot better, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, you got to clean it, yeah. Just measuring it up. I know I'm not going to need turf past this section, so I'll get a blade and cut that off. So I'm going to go with the, the diamonds, the grooves facing down here. Now, if you have two people to hold the uh, turf, it makes it a lot easier, but I'll do this on my own. I'm going to go halfway here, and I'm going to bump right up to a bit here. So, see how I'm coming in on the angle, Connor, look at this. This is quite important. And I'm just going to just lightly put it there. This is why you want your cuts to be straight. See there, I've, I've missed the white. If you, can you see that, Aaron? I don't like that gap. So I can quickly take it off. Redo. And redo. It's <laughs> so much easier for two people. Do you mean to hold something? No, I'll do it on my own. Okay, I'll get that there. So that's, that's perfect. See, I left some of the white backing on too, just so it wasn't kind of interfering with me back here, and now I'm just going along it. So it's just, only just holding on on the front here, just in case we had to pull it off. But now, I can start to feed this up. And I'm trying to work it up so we don't get air bubbles in it. Well, that's the lowest part of the um, ski, and then work my way out. So, I got that. There. And I'll come up here. See, it's kind of like trying to bunch back here, so I'm trying to really... You can kind of force this stuff where you want it to go. Um, it kind of stretches and can compress to a certain degree. But I'm feeding it down. All right. So now we've put it on here, and then the top section. The inside section is the hard part. So you're going to notice it's going to want to lift up from here. My little trick I got. you got to be careful. You only just do it a little bit, but just... Put some stress reliefs in here. You don't want to go too far because when you stick it all that way down, it will want to tear and you might miss your line. If that kind of makes sense. Let's see, this requires a bit of force. You're just gonna be pushing it. Flip this back up that way so it's like that. See the, cr the, the slits there? They're releasing some of the tension to make it easier to go down. What I'm going to do here, this is all excess turf, so I'll come from the inside. Always be careful to not cut too much of it away because when it's when you start to go fold it down, it goes down another bend, it's going to require more material. So you don't want to cut too much away that when you fold it down, you're actually quite far away from the light, your finishing line where you're going to be, um, which you'll see in a minute. Now, this is my terminology of feather cuts. I'm just getting rid of the excess. I'm looking nice and low. I can kind of see where I'm going here. See already, I've released more tension now. Now the glue is going to want to stay there a lot better. Right there, yeah. This is always the tension period right there. Look at that. Two centimeters already opened up. And with the other excess, that would be probably about that much. I'm working my way in. I'm not running the blade not on the... not going one whole lot at once. Nah, you just work your way in. Because it's too hard to lift it all up at once. And then cut a fine line, so I just kind of two or three cuts. Plus it only takes one cut and you've cut too much. Yeah, and then exactly. If you do one cut and you cut too much away... It's all over. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't look near as good then. And you know, we all want our skis to look sweet, so... See, this is the next fold, so if I'd cut too much away then, that might be finishing up there. And this turf is going all the way up to the original hydro turf in the footballs, isn't it? Well, no, no, no. I leave a 10mm gap 
so the sand and water can, can run out. out. Yeah. So there you go, that's a good tip for everyone. Mm. All right, now I'm getting to my final cut. All right, my second to last one. So this cut, now that I've got most of the excess out of the way, this cut, I'm lifting up the turf as I'm cutting with the blade, so the blade's not making contact with the ski. Um, and this is just so I can just see the white paint underneath, the white paint being between that this cut and the factory turf, and that way it's going to give me an indicator when I do my final cut in just a moment. So I'm pulling this up as I'm cutting. See, look, I'm getting pretty high. I'm, I just hit like a 10 mil part there. See why you want a sharp blade for doing this? Because if that blade was blunt, the, 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 your cuts will feather and be all fluffy. Um, now I'm down to my final cut. You've got two options here. You can try to do what I did with the feather cut and try get a straight line without touching the blade against the ski. Um, however, though, this... This turf's not coming off the ski, and just so you know as well, it's very difficult to get off. We need it to be like that way, otherwise if it starts lifting off after a month of use, you're not going to be happy. Um, I get the blade, and I'm just going to, this is how I'd get this nice and straight so it looks sick. Pretty bang on if you ask me. You can pull away some of these little diamonds if you need to, to kind of tidy it up. You want to be eye level, don't you? Yeah. Just that one panel, you can see how many off cuts I've done this. Um, yeah, so take your time, feather it down, and you'll get a nice tidy job looking like that. Even though this is a brand new ski, he's gone on it once, he's already scratched the ski there, but even if this is a black ski, this whole panel with carrying a board in there will scratch it up. You can run our board rack system and that, that solves the issue, but it all comes down to what you're doing, using your ski with. If you're carrying spare guns, fishing rods, surfboards all the time and stuff, um, it's just so much easier just to turf them up. Um, but Or you just use our rack systems and that solves it too. But if you're doing step off surfing and tow and surfing, you predominantly don't have racks on the side. Um, and you're running a setup like this with our seat straps and our sled and those are the, kind of like the three essentials you need for doing those kind of activities what are you doing now mikey putting the plastics back on um because your turf's in there you're gonna have to squeeze it and force it a bit so like the two hardest parts of this bro is getting this line here straight and two starting it and folding it through this middle section where all that tension is so you without saw, having any bubbles in there and not having bubbles i still might have a couple bubbles in this what i gotta do i roll it out in the sun for half an hour roll it back in the shade and then they kind of all come out and then i go over at the end and i'll go everywhere and then if i got a bubble i just get the blade and i'll just go and then squeeze the air out and then yeah it'll be fine okie dokie moving on to that inside section this is actually a little bit more challenging than the outside so with the yammy, um, you got a 10 mil on the inside here, a nut, and then you got one, two, three, four more. See how see how there's all salt and stuff in here, and we're tucking up the turf underneath this. I'm gonna pull the sticker off. Um, I'll use kind of two rags just because there's so much salt there. Do that. Wipe this all clean. Now what I do, I go get a whiteboard marker. Then you kind of know where to go and finish it. I'll just go. Now I know I need a turf like about 20 mil just above this, along this line, um, going all the way up to there. We're also going to tuck it into the back piece here. Just a. 10 mil bolt in here. Always be careful. Don't drop your bolts underneath the hull. I think one time I was um, pulling an engine, uh, putting an engine back in in a ski, and I dropped the bolt underneath it. I think I spent like probably like 40 minutes trying to find this freaking thing. Eh? Yeah. It's in my head. In. And you know you're so oh, close. You're so man. far. Yeah. <laughs> you can see here the pattern's going down. I'm going to um, be doing the same with the inside sheet here. Uh, also, sand stuff doesn't get caught in it and just kind of runs off. So, I'll push this all the way to the front towards the speaker. 
I know I'm going to be turfing, I'm not turfing up and over with that, I'm going to be tucking this under, so I'll go from here, probably going to need a new blade shortly, because see it, I'm using craft right blades, I swear these blades suck, balls, get rid of that, this little hoo-ha gets in the way all the time, so, okay, don't go too crazy on it, but let's cut that off a bit, so, so what I do here, Connor, is, um, I'm gonna get this like pretty straight. You don't want to be trying to, if you start turfing like that and trying to stick it down, you got a massive gap here. This is gonna create your problems yeah, later. Probably. Yeah, you can't compress this much turf and water will end, it'll end up pulling away and like water will collect in it and it'll kind of screw it all up. So you want this being as pretty flat as possible. So see how I kind of cut that and like, you know, going up to about there. Like I could finish some skis, I can finish, you know, here and cut another triangle and fill in a piece if it needed to be as well. Just a second bit and you line it up. Um, now, with this, just a light cut here. So sticky. If it's, if it's slightly stuck on, you haven't pressed it yet, you can do that maybe only once or twice. Um, let's get that tacked down there. Got a 10 mil gap. Now, see how I cut that triangle off before? Man, if I went too much more, I could end up all the way up here. Another thing with these yammies, they got the bloody um, footwell drain holes. It's actually really cool, so your footwells don't fill up with water, but you gotta cut around that. It's kind of a little bit difficult to use. Obviously you don't want it to stick on the top now, do you? Because you've got that contour. Yeah, I want to feed into that, but mm. we actually, because the seat, you tuck this up underneath the seat, so the seat runs on that line. Um, so we'll tuck up underneath that, and then I'm just going to peel this off. See, I didn't peel this off before because I don't want it sticking around where it'll get in my way. Um. All right, so now we've got it into position. Now to start trimming it around. I don't know, just where I just not to go past. You don't have to really care about this cut so much. Make sure you go below the bolt there. Now it does finish there. So the plastic will cover all that. Stick that in. Okay. This has got a groove. So every time you got a a groove, like into a new angle, you press along it so you don't get air bubbles. Now let's get rid of this. Well, you nearly cut it too much. Nearly. See, I just hit that line. See how? Because it's out, it was out there. Yeah. It's deceiving, man. Once you push it all in, a lot. You, it's like you cut a lot more than what you. Don't yeah, you don't want to cut more off because then you're gonna it's gonna ruin it. So we're going up underneath this. I'll get rid of all that hoo ha. I'll cut to like that there. And I'm gonna try pull this out. It's under that bolt. I should be able to chuck it all straight underneath. I don't want to wrestle the plastic, just remove it all, but I'm choosing to wrestle it. See how much better that looks? How much better it looks when it's under the... Yeah. Feather cutting again. Nice and low for the final hey. cut. I'm just going to put it out there. Some people are like, why won't you template this? Try, honestly, I've tried that many times. You're dealing with one, two, three four, five, six angles, plus all a limited amount of space and obstacles to go around. Good luck trying to template that. It's so much easier to freehand cut it. Look at that. Look how sick that looks. Perfect. Right.
And I guess when you cut and, the end as well. Angles plus curves in your cuts as well. And nothing really replicates this. Like, I don't know. Someone might be, be go, oh yeah, I can do it and blah, blah, blah. And they're a bloody wizard. Um, if you are that wizard. <laughs> do you want a job? This is a, this is a, this is a <laughs> hard part. Uh, I fucking hate this little thing. Oh, there's water around the bloody drain hole. Shit, I nailed that first go. Yeah, that's that's better than I did in my own ski. I was just about to say. <laughs> just make sure you stop right there. And you're resting all that on the ski, aren't you? Yeah. But it's been magical. Absolutely magical. Now I'm just gonna double check something with the seat. Alright, so now I know where my seat line is and I'm pretty close to it on my bottom part there, so let's just chuck this on. Sweet. See that? See that little bit there? I'm just gonna cut a little triangle and just fill that in. Um, and guys, like if you if you want to go to more extents, but remove your speakers, go all the way up in there. You could remove this, try go. It's actually the further you go up on this rail, the harder it gets because it's the uh, more of an angle. But you can, it just takes a lot more time. Um, so, but you don't necessarily have I'll to do a triangle, do you? You can also always just do a block and hide it behind there. Oh yeah, yeah. I just need to get a little piece up in there, which I'll pretty much I can cut like into this, and then go. Just do that. Boom. You'll never know. You'll never know. Just cut that piece off. Oh, you can get a roller into this, but I'm just going to do it free, Anne. Okay, you don't have to be too fussy here. Your seat hides all this, but I don't want to go to about there. Yeah, <laughs> off the record. I went a bit too low there. After you're done, put your plastics back on, put your seat back on, and happy days. Sweet, we just finished our turf in this 22 model FX. The only bit we didn't film, but I just added an extra strip in here just because your fins of your boards can um, just rub on that bit. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this comes in handy, guys. And if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out, like, and subscribe. and. Happy surfing. Yep.